Hello everybody. Welcome to Mufa Driving School. Today we are going to be talking about how to put on your seat belt, how to correctly wear your seat belt. What is a seat belt? A seat belt is a safety device in a car, like the mother safety device, one of the most important safety device to use in a car. Most people they don't know how to use it correctly, and some they intentionally, deliberately don't want to use it. They neglect the importance of a seat belt. But it is very, very, very important to put on your seat belt, no matter how far you are driving, whether you're going for a few miles or you're going uh, on highway, it's very, very important to ensure that not only you put on the seat belt in the car, but every other passenger in the car has to have the seat belt on. Okay, now. The seat belt is always located at the left-hand side of your car. As you can see, this is my own seat belt. So how do I put on my seat belt? It's very easy and very simple. Though we think it's very easy and very simple because we have been using it for a long time, some people, they don't know. We have had situations where people will take a seat belt, they have it correctly, and they will be tying it around their neck. No, it's not like that. No, so don't neglect anything we put on our page because it's very important. Out of experience, we have to do these things we are doing. Okay, now, when you have your seat belt, how do you use it? When you have your seat belt, you pull it gradually, 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 and it comes out to the desired um, length that you want, depending on how tall or how short you are. You don't have to pull it um, by force because when you pull it by force, there's a reaction that takes place. What is this reaction? It's a protective reaction, trying to prevent you from hitting your, your, your body on any other um, part of the car. For instance, just observe what happened. Now, I want to put my seat belt, and it is okay, it is, it is fine, my seat belt is okay. Now, I want to put on my seat belt, I do this. It can't go, it's already reacting to a situation. When it gets a force, it means that there's a situation. Like when there's an accident, there's a force, it's a situation, it reacts like this, again. You see, I take it to this line, now it's very really It cannot go, no matter how much I try to pull it at this level, no matter what force I use, it cannot go. So how do I put on my seatbelt? I correctly um, put the stripes correctly, and then I take my buckler. Buckler is very easy. I take my buckler, I take it now to the buckler handler, and I press it till I get the click sound. When I get the click sound, I know it is correctly uh, inserted, and it is, it, it is holding firm to the, buck, to the buckler handler. Now I lift, I lift my belt quietly and slowly. Now what happens now? I have to ensure that the upper part of the stripes passes over my shoulder, over my shoulder, and the lower part of the stripes passes at, around my hip bone. My hip bone, you have to take note of that. Avoid putting it on the soft part of the, um, the body, like the stomach, especially with the cases of pregnant women. In situation, you can hurt your baby. Some people can even miscarry in such situations. Some people can be rushed to the hospital due to such situation. When there's a situation and there's a reaction, you get injured your baby. So avoid putting the seatbelt around your stomach. No. The seatbelt has to go around your hip bone, where there's the, the bone, the bone, and here also the shoulder. The shoulder is, is the main uh, support here. So now, and also, to, uh, we can also adjust the seatbelt depending on your height. Now, it depends on cars. Different cars have different methods of adjusting your seatbelt. You just need to be vigilant and check with your own car. Now, with this car, this is where we can adjust the height, depending on the, the height of the passenger or the person sitting in the car with you. So, you take it either down, if I want it to go lower, maybe for my children or someone that is uh, shorter than me. And I can take it up if I want it to go higher to a desired height. So that's it. And also, um, at the end of it, some people struggle to take off their seat belt. It's easy. Just press the red button down. When you press the red button down, it gives it up. And now we have our seat belt removed. And then we can quietly place it back to its position. Don't leave it hanging around because it could also be a source of accident to you. If it's hanging everywhere, my, at, at going out of the car, if I try to go out of the car and I'm having the seat belt like this, it's a problem. So I try to put it in place and ensure that it's in place. Some people leave it carelessly and when they open their car, the seat belt is hanging here. So, and you close your car with your seat belt here. It's a problem, you see, it's a problem. So you have to ensure that it is in place. Don't assume, but ensure. 
that your seat belt is in place and then you can freely close your car or open your car and move out freely also ensure that your children use it correctly mm, i think that is that for today if you like the video if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up like share and for more inquiries mm, you can ask on whatsapp we have whatsapp page we have the youtube page we have the um, facebook page and also we have um the email you can email us we will put the link to every page that we own or every page that we use to share our videos below this video thank you bye bye, -bye.